here, the big chrome one. Okay, Kelly. means a lot to you and I'm blessing it because I, I'm encouraging you to go ahead and cross over. I'm asking you as I bless the items that were a gift to your wife, I'm asking you David to look for the like, to look to where you are supposed to go. I know that you know it's there, and I know you believe in this. And we are going to have this, these items return to you. Am I right, Jeff? Yes. We're going to have these re items return back to your wife and your children, because we know these items mean a lot to your family. Do you understand me, David? Okay. Here we Please go. stop moving upstairs. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. These items will be placed outside tomorrow, David. These items will be placed outside tomorrow, and Michelle will be picking these up. Okay? Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. strong reading. Okay. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. That's the last door we're going to do. I'm going to head upstairs. Um, where's Jeff? Right here. Okay, come on. Bear with me. Pretty high. Good. David, it's okay, brother. It's okay. 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. This is your bed, yet? Yes. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. David. I feel sorry for you, and I know you're watching over your family. And I'm totally sorry for your early departure from this life. But David, Jeff has done nothing to you, and I believe that he needs peace, and I believe that you need peace as well. We're going to go down now to the base, to the uh, front door, and I want you to leave. And I want you to return back to your wife if you need to. Like I told you, tomorrow your items are going to be returned back to your wife. I hope that you understand that. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. David, come on. David, come on. This is no place to be. Who's moving? Wow. So who's upstairs? Nobody's upstairs. Oh, wait. Oh, that's downstairs. What do we got? Okay, we just for a minute there. All right, David. Here's your chance. I'm going to turn, even turn the light out, light on out front for you. David, this dwelling is no longer your place. This is Jeff's house now. I want you to return back to your family. I, I would actually like you, David, to cross over. And so with that. There you go. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Jeff is being protected now by Jesus Christ. You are no longer allowed to communicate with Him. You are no longer allowed to reside in this dwelling. Your items will be returned tomorrow. This is your wife's wishes, David. This is your wife asking you to leave Jeff alone and to discuss with her however you choose what you want to do. But I think the best thing for you, my friend, is to cross over. You need spiritual renewal, David. You need spiritual renewal so you can understand. Life on this earth for you right now is not for you. This is for the living. And unfortunately, my friend, you are no longer part of this existence. So please understand, David. Please understand that once you cross over, once you have renewed your spirit, your energy, you will feel so much better. 
I know you love your wife. I'm sorry what happened to you. But Michelle needs to move on as well. So for you to move on helps your wife move on. If you truly love Michelle, David, you will move on and allow her to move on. Does this make sense? All right, we're going to say one more prayer for you, David. This prayer is for you, my friend. Alan? Yes. Let's do a little prayer for David. Yep, that's what I'm down here. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, Divine Creator, Maker of all that is seen and unseen, we humbly ask you to shine your blessed light of direction upon this dwelling. As you know, we have a sheep that is stranded from the herd. We ask that you send your divine shepherd, Jesus Christ, down to comfort and reassure this being that all is good and forgiveness is just a reach away. Although your child has lost their way and possibly fears your judgment, we know your love and forgiveness will shine through, helping them understand their existence will be so much better in the kingdom you have designed for them. We humbly ask you, Lord, that you remove this being's fears and possibly give them the understanding and direction they so desperately seek. We humbly ask that you forgive and abolish all of their sins and transgressions in both their previous life and in their current existence. We ask that you accept them into your kingdom, granting them peace of mind, happiness, and a completion of their destiny. We ask this in your Son, Jesus Christ's name. Amen. 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 Final blessing. Heavenly Father, we know only you can provide resolution for these lost souls. We know that only you can truly bless this home and all who dwell in it. As our hearts and heads are bowed, we are sincerely asking you, for your assistance and intervention in this matter, and that you declare this dwelling clean and free from any unwanted spirits. In your Son's Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Done. <laughs>